night, Lisa. Good night. Lisa. You know what? The first thing in the morning, I'm gonna get organized. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Harvey. Good night, Harvey. Excuse me. I got carried away again. Oh, I've seen this before. Good night, Harvey. Not me. Good night, Lisa. Lisa. Would you like to go over and park for a while? Yeah, that might be interesting. I like that. <clears throat> you know something? We're gonna do that again. But that's what he thinks. I'm in love. Exactly as I anticipated. He's become an oh, earthling. Oh, what a wonderful feeling, Ellen. He asked for it, and I'm afraid he's going to get it. Please, you must help me. Help you what? I'm desperate, and I'm so defenseless. My husband wants to kill me. He doesn't love me anymore. Maybe he's tired. Will you cut it out, lady? I haven't got a license to practice. I love private investigators. I want you to investigate me. I'm not a private investigator. You want Pete Flint. You're not Pete Flint? No, but I could fix your TV set. Sex maniac. <laughs> What happened to the lips? You started off a good thing. You're ashamed of me. Now, do you still think I'm ashamed of you? What are you waiting for? All right. Gee, when you kiss me, I like it. Everything. Yeah, everything. Come on. Darling, I can't concentrate. Now, honey, I've got work to do. Oh, you certainly have. Let me explain, dear. You see, there's this congressman, Mandeville. Now, now he's the head of the House Appropriations oh, Committee. Oh, you say the sweetest things. Well, the Navy needs money for new ships, see, and he's looking for an excuse to turn them down. Now, the corn... black. Now, if the Navy can't keep track of the ships that it has, then he's not going to let Congress give the Navy any more money to buy new ships. And that's why Admiral Blood is out to drink mine. I love you, Prudence. I love you, darling. But I'm in big trouble. You are if you turn that light on again, my itsy-bitsy baby. I love you, Prudence. I love you, darling. Just a minute. something. What? You're cute. <laughs> Do you know something? Whisper it in my ear. The scalp is dry. <laughs> I know what great lovers you Frenchmen are. Kiss me. Oh, that's good. 
<laughs> what are we waiting for? My Sagittarius is rising. No, you're Hang on, boy. You're no, supposed no, no. to fight me. Oh, no. <laughs> Easy, gal. He just got some new bearings. Here, you drop this. Nothing wrong with my lips. There's something wrong. What? Oh, well, when Bessie kisses me, the tops of my shoes pop open. <laughs> Would you mind if I try it again? No. Thank you. He's the bravest man I've ever known. Oh, it wasn't anything. But you could have been killed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Will you marry me? But Steve's in love with you. No, no, he's the one you should marry. There's no future in marrying me. Oh, that's the most heartbreaking. No, no. Well, what if all we have is a couple of weeks, a handful of perfect hours? No, no. Then I'll be there at the end, Sailor. I'll be there saying goodbye. Yes, yes. Gallant you are, sir. Oh, it's nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, gung-ho! Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There's something else about you that makes it perfect. What's this something else? Mm, you have sexy lips. Mm. You mean I was doing something like this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll remember. I'm just a friend. Yeah, but friends don't kiss, so I'll take that back. I remember now. Did that? Yeah. Oh, it's all right. Have a go at it. If you like. Every right. Oh. That's the new joy. No, I believe you. I knew you would. But please, not on a full stomach. Oh, marry me. You like the way I cook. Yeah, but I'm getting a little hard burn. Mm. Eight hundred and thirty. Six hundred and thirty. Mm. 
314. 394. 209. 30 in. Could I save up at least $50? Oh, we could live here. I have a single bed. <laughs> you win, baby. Go ahead. Oh. I'll be right back. Some impossible. Come on. See? Was not worth waiting for? I don't think we should have gone out to dinner together. Bonjour, mon cher Jenny. I don't believe we've met. You know that. I have Mr. Quonset calling the moon station. Mr. Quonset calling. Mr. Quonset calling. Mr. Quonset calling. Mr. Quonset calling. It won't work. It's a very cold prison. Damp. And the cells are very small. Dank. And by the time you come out, you'll have a very long beard. White. No! It's locked. Go ahead. Pamela! And I know what your lips taste like. I never complained about them. Then what is it? A dum dum Dudley? No, it isn't. I saw it last night. In his shifty eyes. Oh, he's much too old for that. It's disgusting. Mm -mm. Dudley's been very helpful, very understanding. Ha! Very helpful and very understanding. Come on, Pamela. Comes a little later. Uh, now cut that out. What's wrong with you? 